Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your next three months tarot reading for October, November, December 2023 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. What I've done is I've taken your yearly 2023 tarot reading and pulled out the relevant cards. In October, we have the Devil. November we have the star and Knight of Pentacles is December. We're going to pull some additional messages, look at overarching energies coming towards you in the next three months, as well as any individual messages that I'm getting because a lot can happen in one month, let alone three in different areas of our life. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you. Page of Swords. Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, the Star in November, thank you, for Sagittarius, the Hermit, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, let's do the Knight of Pentacles, thank you, Five of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, And we have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female of the energy of the card. Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, male or female of the energy of the card. I feel this is, I've got a feeling this is more likely um, either you're manifesting as these energies, heart and mind. Or again, this could be uh, people who uh, may well be influential. Generally, Queen of Cups is quite a supportive energy. Queen of Swords is very direct, but will tell you it like it is. So you might be dealing with those, male or female. Now let's see what we have. Let's see what we have with the Devil. So the Devil, there's always something very tempting, very attractive about the Devil, but ultimately we kind of know it's not for our highest good. We can all have devil energy within us, so we all have weaknesses, whether it's a vice, whether it's a, a lower vibrational behavioral pattern, you know. This can be, the, the devil energy can be when we give in to things that, are, that we like, that we enjoy, but it might not be our highest good. So it might well be for some of you, you might be reflecting on, you know, uh, having a healthier lifestyle by... It might well be dealing with some kind of vice or habit that you enjoy doing, but you know it's not for your highest good. This can be the scenario here. It can be reviewing people in your life that are for you and people who don't bring healthy influences, whether it's a group of friends or a person in your life. Even though there's some things that are attractive or tempting about them, for example, it might not be serving your highest good. So this can be actually dealing with people around us. The devil in um, relationship energy can be physical desire, uh, attraction, but knowing it's not for our highest good. Controlling behavior, manipulative behavior, jealousy, um, somebody having a, an addiction, so shopping, gambling, drinking, so on and so forth. These can be the energies here, and sometimes we need to make a choice or a decision in whether we want to continue down that road or not, because and that will be that you're going to be presented with some kind of crossroads here. Um, other areas of life, the devil for me, I sometimes nickname it as the neighbor from hell. It could be in your environment in some way that's not working for you or where you live. It can be to do with, uh, you know, a boss. Uh, it can be like a, a work uh, where you work, a toxic team, toxic boss, toxic culture. 
and um, that the company you know uh, promotes you know so this can be the scenario here you might be dealing with this but it looks like it's an area of focus for you uh, to have the opportunity to bring healthy life changes your way by dealing with this devil it's always a very powerful attachment for example in the job you might like the job itself but there's there's a boss that you can't stand you know so however this is for you this can be uh, you're dealing with it you're dealing with it this month now this can be a scenario here Sagittarius where something is coming to light again the page of swords can be learning something hearing something getting some information some communication or a conversation happening here with this in mind it feels like you're just kind of like okay okay i have got to let this go i can't go on the way i'm going i have to, it's become too much now of a thing it feels like whatever this is it's kind of like is the straw that breaks the camel's back and you're ready to let go and make space for the new because it just feels like that's the kind of like final thing where you're just kind of like no I need to let this go now I need to kind of like lighten the load and find a solution on how to do that and that's what I'm seeing here quite strongly this devil energy will likely be saying I regret what happened between us or I regret how you responded to this situation or I regret, um, you know, uh, you know, I regret, you know, uh, what I did. I regret that, you know, I fell back into old habits. Whatever the scenario is, it feels like somebody is trying to make up for it. They're hoping all is not lost in this situation. They're wanting to make things right with you. Uh, but with the devil being the overarching energy, it doesn't feel like it's kind of like saying sorry because of how something's gone on rather than truly feeling like they're going to change. You know, that's what it feels like to me. And I feel you're acutely aware of that now. There's a kind of realisation in October of what's not working for you. And again, this could also be to do with friendships. It could be to do with you know, family, like I said, it could be to do with neighbours, you know, um, even it could be even a, like landlords and whatever your environment is, it feels like someone is trying to kind of like smooth things over with you, but I feel you're at that point here, it is Sagittarius energy, the Ten of Wands of whatever experience that you've gone through, you're learning some valuable kind of like lessons from it and you're understanding now you're getting a deeper understanding of how you've been carrying a burden a weight for potentially far too long and how you want to now let go of it and that's what i'm seeing here and that's what i'm seeing here sagittarius it feels like you're potentially setting things in motion because you're realizing what's not working for you anymore. And that is that point where things start turning around for you, where you realize what's not working for you and you now have the opportunity to pursue hopes, dreams, wishes, connections that will work for you, move on from potentially realizing what's not working to what will you know so this is the energy that i'm seeing so with that in mind i kind of want to just kind of like uh, unravel this a little bit because i'm definitely seeing some kind of theme very much in money areas in particular um so again, if this was like a, a business scenario, it could well be a business partnership. It could well be to do with uh, a collaborative project. It can be to do with a, you know, an employer. Whatever the scenario is here, Sagittarius, the star is and the hermit is deep down, I know what I need to do. Deep down, I know what I need to do now. I need to embrace change. 
And that might well be allowing something to fall away. That might well be letting go of something that has become too much of a weight, a burden, in order to move forward in faith on a new path. Um, and it might well be that you are deep down now deciding to pursue new hopes, dreams and wishes. But you're being very... <laughs> November is where you are seeing the truth of the situation and aligning with your authentic truth. That's the turning point here. This is the wisdom, the answers, the understanding, the deeper understanding that you've learnt from October is allowing you to align to a path forward that will bring you greater blessings and abundance by realizing what's not working for you and what needs to change. And that is aligning in truth, aligning in your authenticity, aligning with your higher self here. In turn, it comes from within and it projects in your external environment. This is the energy here and it's a very, very positive thing. The star is linked with new hope, blessings, wish fulfillment, but sometimes we just have to move forward in faith. Um, and that's what I see happening here. Because again, the Queen of Swords, this can also be somebody who might give you advice as well. Tell it you like it is, like I said before, male or female. But as your energy, the Queen of Swords is, I see now, I see what I need to do. This can be about putting plans in place, taking action, having important conversations this month as well, in terms of what is going to bring balance back into your life. And it might well be for a lot of you, you are pursuing a new job a new business opportunity, a new career route, a new project route, a new initiative route, uh, new contracts, you know, because the Queen of Swords is not afraid to cut cords with things that don't serve our highest good. The Queen of Swords is not afraid to get rid of the weight. Not afraid to cut cords, not afraid to lighten the load. And I feel whatever you're experiencing in October, there is a real significant higher level of truth and authenticity that you're aligning with in terms of how you in truth need to move forward and it's 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 meant to be you know this is the energy here of of move forward in faith because sometimes we have to let go of things that that aren't working for us in order to receive a blessing so this is almost kind of like whatever you're letting go of whatever you're choosing to let go of as part of this process is to allow greater blessings and wish fulfillment to come into your life. And this is the realization of that and the actions that you're taking and the decisions and conversations that you might be having in order to bring balance back to your life in some way because something has become too much. The Knight of Pentacles here can be very positive. It can be someone making you an offer. Night Spring offers and opportunities for change. This can be of the practical world. So this can be very good in terms of job offer, business opportunities, contracts. It can also represent um, if you are wanting to start something on your own, put something to practice yourself. This can be a sum of money to do that. So very good also in terms of loans, mortgages, putting down an offer on a property, moving or relocating home, starting up a new venture. This would all be the sum of money to do that here. But I feel that you're moving forward in, in higher truth and it feels like um, the potential to get some kind of opportunity that brings balance back into your life. I feel it transferring over. November and December, we have the offer coming in. So these offers, you could be having some conversation about the offer, the opportunities here. Because there is a, a feeling here, Sagittarius, with the Five of Wands. On the one hand, this can be very good in terms of competing for jobs, being in it to win it. And again, which might be the case, you might be having conversations, moving forward in faith, and feeling more hopeful about something coming your way, some kind of offer. Um, but this can also be to do with, again, if you're dealing with... Um, in your current workplace, if you're dealing with conflict, a team that doesn't serve your highest good, 
uh, a boss that you always feel that you're not on the same page with, a company culture that doesn't serve your highest good, you know. This can be an opportunity to remove yourself from that situation as well. This can also be trust your own counsel, regardless of what other people are saying, if people are interfering, if people are telling you um, not to leave this place of work, that you'd be crazy to, to, to change things up. This is about trusting your own counsel because you know best. The, and again, the page of pentacles, good news, and it can be good news of a practical area of life, job, business opportunity, career path, starting something new, very good in terms of new ventures, new, um, new initiatives, new, a new business, you know? So again, if you're waiting for a sum of money, sum of money to start something new, Again, this is the same message here, Sagittarius, where there may well be some kind of opportunity to start your own business or put something new into action if you weren't happy where you, where you were before. Again, this can be very good in terms of um, good news to do with new job, new business opportunity, contract. Queen of Cups in business can be a, can be a leader, somebody who puts people front and centre, um, the door is always open. They like uh, things like training people, investing in people. They like a happy team. So you might be connecting to this person. This can also be HR for me as a reader as well in business too. So again, HR might be significant to you. In other areas of life, Queen of Cups can be somebody who cares, uh, somebody who would support you, a very motherly energy, uh, whether it's a friend, a sibling, or even a mother, or again, male or female in general reading, so can be parental. Um, but it might well be that even if you might be conflicted yourself to pursue this new path, I feel in that case, this person will tell you, well, you can't stay in this environment that you're in. Something has to give. And they may well be telling you to pursue um, the new route. That would be the energy here. Free will, your choice, but that's what I'm seeing. So I'm going to have a look at the other messages. That was just coming through to me really clearly, very, very strongly here, Sagittarius. So um, let's just have a look at the other messages that I'm getting for you. So just be careful. Yeah, I want to say this. Um, and it can be in any area of life. The, the Five of Cups in our energy, <clears throat> just be careful in October time because we sometimes focus too much on what's not working for us and we don't recognise what is working for us, the positive things, the positive people, the positive influences in our life. So <clears throat> don't stray too much on the negative, the glass half empty, you know, uh, this month. Sometimes there's, there's reasons that we feel like this, we feel down, we feel uh, lackluster, we feel, we always feel like we're looking back. Um, but this is a definite energy here of, um, there's so much opportunity around you to move forward to. Don't get stuck in the past in some way or what's not working for you. Uh, sometimes things end for whatever reason, <clears throat> as well with the Five of Cups. Sorry, I'm just, I'm still getting over this kind of nasty cold I had. Sometimes things happen for whatever reason here, Sagittarius, whether it's something ending, uh, whether it's we wish we could have done something differently, uh, whether we're getting over somebody. This can be the scenario here, but you're being told while you're looking back, you're missing so much to connect to and move forward to. So just, just realise when it's time to let go and make space for the new. That might well be a message that some of you need to hear. Because even though the devil, the devil can be attractive, and sometimes when things finish with the devil, for example, we kind of just want, we want it back, you know? Uh, because it's addictive, because um, there's something really attractive. It's an attachment that's very difficult to break free of. So I feel this is an energy here, Sagittarius, of just allow yourself to embrace that fresh perspective and by doing that 
letting yourself be open to new pathways, moving forward, new ideas, new conversations, and just let whatever go needs to be let go. I mean, that's a message that I'm definitely getting for you here. It might well be that you're just, um, sometimes we struggle to let go as well of devil energy, uh, especially if it's a person, especially if it's to do with love, romance, relationships. But this person is showing up as a devil, you know, which doesn't serve our highest good. You know, there's things that are incredibly addictive, attractive, a strong attachment to. Remember, this is the energy here of while you're doing that, you're missing out. You're missing out on so much in moving forward, seeing the truth of what this devil is, healing from it and moving forward to greater blessings and wish fulfillment. And I feel that's a message that's coming through for some of you. So don't self-sabotage. Don't hold yourself back. Let go of things that have become a weight, even though you might not have realized they've become a weight. Uh, don't keep on carrying either things that have completed or de don't keep on holding on to something that is, is weighing you down, that's stopping you making space for the new. This is about letting go of the things that you need to let go on in order to kind of have that clean slate and embrace the new that spirit wants to bring into you. And that might well be in terms of relationships. For some reason, I'm definitely getting that kind of energy of, of it's difficult to move on. But I feel that there's an opportunity here for some of you to heal and move greater blessings, but we can only embrace our blessings when we let go and allow ourselves to energetically make room for the new. We don't hold on, we don't keep on holding on to something that's completed because we're just holding ourselves back. We live in the past and we miss opportunities that are around us for greater happiness and abundance in that energy. So this is about taking that step back, getting that perspective and understanding where you need to cut cords, seeing the truth of what this devil is. Something isn't healthy in that respect. And it's about being in your authentic truth. If you are really truthful with yourself, this is the energy here of making space for greater blessings, wish fulfillment coming your way. I feel that's a definitely a message in terms of love, romance, relationships for some of you, because there is, there's greater happiness available to you, but it can't come in while you're looking back, wanting this back, which it probably is available to you, but it'll keep you in this cyclical loop of just feeling weighed down and not fully happy, not fully fulfilled. So that's the energy that I'm seeing here. I want to also talk about this. The hermit, when it appears in your reading, it can also be down to health issues. You might be becoming a healer or you might be deciding to become a healer here, Sagittarius. Um, so this can be very good on that front, you know, nature path, natural healer. Um, this might be, be relevant for you, certainly in terms of, you know, maybe November time. It could well be even a hobby that you might be pursuing or an interest that you want to kind of like pursue and learn. Do a course, you know, educate yourself in some way. So this might well be the time where you're deciding to kind of like pay for some kind of course that in truth you want to find, move forward on. The, um, the hermit can also be about visiting a healer. It can be a very good sign in terms of health and healing as well. So again, if you've been affected by health issues in some way, this can actually be about, you know, either seeing a natural healer in some way, which may be um, influential for you in some way, um, or recovery. This can be very good in terms of recovery from a health issue, you know, and moving forward um, in faith. So that's what I'm seeing for you here, maybe getting back on track, uh, getting that sense of balance back, moving forward in, you know, moving forward in faith, blessings and wish fulfillment coming your way, generally that sense of new optimism as a result of maybe some kind of health issue or being very optimistic about learning something new to do with the healing arts would be a very positive thing. 
The additional message is if, if you're wanting to get some kind of insight, make clear decisions and choices in November as well, this can also be about talking to a sage, um, a wise person. So it might well be somebody who is wise, who you would get good counsel from, is influential this month as well. And that could well be pointing you in the right direction uh, to do with, you know, if you're at some kind of crossroads, if you need to make some clear decisions, if you need to say a way forward in terms of how you move forward, could even be to do with this devil, but not limited to that. This can be about moving forward in your authentic self, moving forward in faith, but there's absolutely your heading for blessings and wish fulfillment. And yeah, I've kind of spoken about this, the um, the page of pentacles in, in starting things that are new uh, in terms of good news on practical terms. It can actually be good news to do with the practical world. So um, property, real estate, uh, jobs, career, uh, initiatives, ventures, um, money as well you know could be some reason positive news in terms of getting a sum of money or an okay on a loan or a mortgage or a cash injection of some kind so this would be very good on that basis the page of pentacles can also be very good in terms of starting new um skills development and um, educational courses so it might well be that you're looking at that here sagittarius you might well be deciding and again this could be something that you've been thinking about in november but you might be deciding to start some kind of like some kind of we we generally have some kind of professional qualification to bring greater abundance our way or it could well be you might be starting even though you might get a job you might decide to start a secondary income could be a youtube channel for example this would be about i'm just going to learn as i go and see how it goes and put things into action this would be the energy here so it can be very good, like I said, in terms of educational courses, professional qualifications, learning a new trade, learning a new industry, giving something a go, dabbling and learning, learning as you go. So this can be just the energy here of, OK, let's just start the ball rolling, see where it leads. But it can lead to something uh, abundant. And that's, that's what I have for you here, Sagittarius. Yeah, I just want to, I just want to bring, yeah, I want to bring your attention to the five of wands as well. Because this can be actually when we might be with a, a group of people and there's always drama, there's always drama, there's always conflict, there's always tensions, there are always backbiting there's always everybody one person more than the other wanting their own way or trying to dominate you know it could be friends for example as well um a group of people for some reason this can be an energy here where you might be kind of like deciding this month in terms of in your truth coming from like november what serves you what kind of people you want to be with what gives you stability and security do I want to be in this drama anymore? Do I want to be with those kind of like people where I never feel kind of like at one with, you know, I, I never get listened to. They always want to focus on themselves and talk about themselves. And this can be the energy here where you might well be just kind of like evaluating that this month in terms of, you know, from a heart point of view, from people who do care about you, who do give you that sense of positive um, recognition from people who do listen to you, from friends who will be, you know, with you by your side for a lifetime, family as well. You might well be just kind of like evaluating. This just isn't working for me because, you know, there's always conflict, drama, tension. It's always about them. You might well be kind of like just going through the motions of focusing on who you enjoy spending time with and who you might not and separating the wheat from the chaff so to speak so that could be an energy here too so that's what i have for you here sagittarius for the next three months i'm going to go through some additional cards for you
And if, if this is your energy here, Sagittarius, it's self-love, self-care, the nurturing of self. So, and that will be, you need to focus on you, your needs this month. Can be of a practical nature, can be from a heart point of view as well. Self-love first and foremost, and from that everything else. Um, yeah. Yeah, the additional thing that I was getting here, if you were like a parent, you know, and there was a child and there was kind of like conflict and it could well be about money, you know, um, it's not limited to that, but it could well be some kind of, if they were asking for, you know, money and then more money and can I have this, can I have that, uh, can we buy this, can we buy that, <laughs> there may well be some kind of, where you're just kind of like saying, you know, no, there's boundaries, there's boundaries, you know, then that you might well be establishing that in terms of either practical needs, money, um, yeah, however that manifests for you. Or actually, you might be supporting a child through them getting a new job. So if you have supported them, um, supported them through maybe a change where they might have been competing for a new job, for example, this could also be you supporting them, but it does look like there's the potential of a new job for them. New job, business opportunity come December. If also the ch if a child was involved in some kind of conflict, um, or you felt the need to step in and defend the child with some kind of conflict, I feel your result, you're, you'd resolve it. You're going to resolve it from a point of being in your power. You might, because you're protecting them, there's a sense of being protecting, you know, this can be about protecting a child as well with some kind of conflict. And you're not letting that go. I mean, you'll see it through until you get back on track here. That would be the energy here. Could be with friends, could be with a school. But I feel that likely you'll be protecting them. Very well, this is a they're protected. They're protected by you. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius? Archangel Michael. Number 35, trust the guidance you're receiving. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. Let's pull you a colour card, see what we have for you. The colour might resonate. What do we have for our lovely Sagittarians? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Sagittarius. Next three months. Thank you, that flew out. We have green, revitalize your nervous system, number 31. Green is the color of life, it's the color of growth. So there's growth here. Growing through a situation as well. Let's pull you an energy card, see what we have. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides for the next three months. Thank you. We have number 13, coherence. The frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind for an optimal ability to create the reality that we desire. It's interesting, so what's been I was just noticing the number. I mean, that's number 35, but this is number 31. 31, and then I've got 13. I mean, it's like back to front. 
I don't know whether 31, 13, I was just drawn to that number. I mean, it's a turnaround, isn't it? It represents a turnaround. Let's see what we have for you as a fortune card. Fortunes for Sagittarius. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for the next three months. Wish, number 35. The Wish Fulfillment card is the star. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. If it really does feel like when you're letting go of something here in October, you're making space for greater blessings to come in. I mean, that's really what I'm getting here. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to pull you an Angel and Ancestors Oracle card. So a message from the Angels and Ancestors for Sagittarius. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Two cards. We have Star Ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. Very much linked with the star there. Moving forward in faith, deep down, you're being powerfully guided and aligned. There's a, a strong sense of being aligned to the, to the path that you're meant to be on. But that can only happen when you realize what's not working for you here. We have Night, be brave and honest. So let's read the Star Ancestor. Heed the messages coming directly from your soul. There is a deeper purpose to your human journey. Not only were you born on purpose, you were born for a purpose. You were born to be a bright light in the world and there are supporters out there in the universe sending waves of energy to guide you at this time. Information and inspiration that has been coming your way recently is not new information, but memories. Your feelings of being drawn in a particular direction are the awakening of an aspect of your soul. You are being drawn toward a road that will not only light you up, but also help you light up the corner of your world. Continue following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way. Sagittarius, it's a lovely note to end on. That's what I have for you for the next three months. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you a wonderful October, November, December, and I will see you next time.